Hey, space friends, I have a really huge, massive, massive announcement to share with all of you. Something that I have put the last uh, five years of my spare time into, and now it seems to be finally coming to fruition. So I'm uh, a bit nervous to, to share this, but mostly overwhelmingly excited to share this with all of you, finally. Later this year, I am going to be spending a full month in Antarctica. I'm going to Antarctica later this year, and I just can't convey how excited I am about this. Antarctica is an incredibly cool continent, pun intended. There's so much cool science taking place in Antarctica. It's a continent that's larger than the United States. There's so much territory and stuff going on, and it's so isolated and, and pristine in so many areas, thanks to an international treaty that many countries have signed. Um, and it's just, an incredible honor and to me a, a big responsibility to be going to Antarctica. A big responsibility in the sense that I can't take you all along with me physically, um, which is unfortunate because I would love to do that. But the next best thing I can do is bring you all along with me through video and updates and photos and sharing as much of the experience as I can with you. And that's exactly what I intend to do. You're probably wondering what the heck am I doing in Antarctica in the first place? Well, what I'll be doing in Antarctica in the first place is actually doing video microscopy, looking at all of this weird life that exists in Antarctica. So when people think about Antarctica, a lot of times they think it's lifeless or barren, except for maybe some penguins, but there's kind of a microbial Serengeti, so to speak, in Antarctica, and that's what I wanna share with all of you. Underneath the ice, there are all these extreme forms of life that are able to survive and sometimes thrive in this extreme environment. And they're incredibly weird. There are things like tardigrades and nematodes and other weird stuff. And so I've got some cool microscopes, ones like this one here that I adore. It's my little field microscope that I just picked up. And I want to actually do video microscopy of all the weird life forms that are in Antarctica because we don't really get to often see what they look like and how they act and all this cool stuff and just see how they interact with their environment. So I'm going down there to do video microscopy to share with you the life underneath the ice, all of the cool stuff that exists that maybe is otherwise invisible to the naked eye, literally, but also we don't get to see a lot of imagery or, or videos of it anyway, so it's kind of invisible to us in other forms. And so I'm wanting to share all of this with you because I'm, well, really geeky and I've really gotten into microscopes lately. And I think there's a lot of cool things that we could learn by looking at all these weird creepy crawlies underneath the ice. So I'll be creating a bunch of videos about what it takes to go to Antarctica, the preparation and procedures, and also what it's like in Antarctica itself. I'm going to be filming as much as I can and sharing as much of it with all of you as I can. And then also all of the microscopy that I do, I'm going to be creating an interactive website after I get back from Antarctica that really gives you the feeling of looking at a microscope from the standpoint that I will be in in Antarctica and what it's like to see all of these weird life forms down there. So this is a multi, multi-month uh, endeavor for me, perhaps even a full year. It's going to be a lot of work as a team of one, uh, spending a whole month down in Antarctica and doing all of this stuff in the lead up and during and afterwards. But this is where all of you come in because I really could use your help. So while I'm going to Antarctica and my flight is paid for and my uh, food and my board while I'm in Antarctica is paid for, all of my cool stuff, like my microscopes, all of my equipment that I need to really pull off this project is not funded, is not paid for at all. So I can really use a lot of help on Patreon, uh, your help uh, with uh, helping fund all of this cool equipment that I need to share all of this awesome stuff with you. And also I will be adding some really cool rewards to Patreon as of today. So um, if you want a postcard sent to you from me, from Antarctica, stamped from Antarctica, um, all $5 patrons and up can get a postcard from Antarctica which uh, I'm really excited to share with all of you because I don't know, I think it's really cool to get mail from that part of the world. Uh, there's other things like you can get signed copies of my book, um, but it will be helping me a lot because I do have perhaps uh, thousands of dollars of equipment that I need to be purchasing to do all this cool microscopy work uh, in Antarctica and sharing it with all of you. And also my time itself is also not paid for. So I'm independent. 
I'm not salaried. It means I have the flexibility to take a month off um, and go to Antarctica and do this cool stuff and share it with all of you. But it means that it's kind of a financial struggle, so to speak, because I don't have anyone footing the bill and I can't take on any additional work because, well, I'll be in Antarctica doing awesome stuff. So uh, joining Patreon is a massive help. Also, if you are aware of any uh, brands that might want to help sponsor this endeavor, uh, please get in touch. But uh, really, first and foremost, joining Patreon means that you're going to get all of the updates I have from Antarctica, all of the updates uh, leading up to it, perhaps some sneak peeks, if I can work it in there, of my work um, going to Antarctica. And it's kind of going to be the central hub for getting all of my updates. Uh, about it and the process and it'll be a way uh, where you can be directly supporting this project and I really appreciate it. This whole endeavor has been a massive uh, undertaking uh, not only just for myself but really for uh, it's taken I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. It's kind of taken a village to uh, help uh, get me to go to Antarctica. There have been so many scientists who have helped me over the years. Um, also, there's uh, all the people who have already joined my Patreon and helped support this endeavor over the last few years. It's just, it's meant a lot. And this is what I mean when I talk about it being a responsibility to, for me to share as much of this with all of you as I can, because not everyone gets this chance and I'm hyper aware of that. And I really, um, I really wanna do right by all of you and by the amazing science that takes place in Antarctica by sharing as much of this as I possibly can. Um, and really uh, uh, at least taking you along with me for the ride, um, you know, through the internet if not in person. So, you know, uh, for all of you who have tuned in and who are still watching at this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate your encouragement and, and I can't tell you how much this project means to me. It's quite a lot. Um, I have a lot more to say about how cool Antarctica is and the cool science that's going to be there um, and answering your questions. Perhaps I'll do like a Q&A live stream at some point. Um, I have a lot more to say. I'm, I've probably forgotten a lot of things that I've wanted to say even in this video, but um, overwhelmingly, I just want to say thank you uh, for tuning in, for uh, your encouragement. Uh, for those of you who are able to join Patreon, thank you so much. And I, you know, I'll just leave it at that for it now. Just thank you because this is a really awesome opportunity and I can't wait to share how awesome and weird and unexpected the entire experience is going to be. It's really cool. So thanks so much for tuning in. I will be uh, creating new videos and new stuff soon. So I'll see you soon.